Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at this little uh, micro drone by ATOP. I'll show you the box here. It is the ATOP A11. It says it's a cyclone. On top of the drone, they call it the Pioneer. Um, you know, just a, just a little, uh, you know, little micro whoop. They really seem to be big on advertising that it has headless mode, which of course is not really a particularly new feature at all. Uh, any uh, drone. You know, it's just a, one of these small little uh, micro drones. Um, let's look at the light combination on it here before we go over some other things. I'll go ahead and plug the battery in on it. It's got uh, blue lights in the rear and green here in the front to help with the orientation. No, you know, they're, they're kind of embedded here in the, on the kind of in on the arm so it's not super super easy to see the lights as you can see here I, you know I kind of hold it up but uh, the battery it comes with is a little bitty a 220 milliamp hour uh, 1s lipo of course with the micro low C connector the flight time is about five minutes out of it to charge it up you just get one of these you know USB to micro low C connectors takes about 45 minutes to charge it up so not too bad and you can these batteries of this size should be relatively easy to find. This is though this is a really really tiny battery. The accessories is just a, a, four extra uh, four blade propellers and a Phillips screwdriver. <clears throat> it uses one of these peanut style con uh, controllers. Uh, you got your roll and your pitch trim here. Um, it has three rates. If you press down on the stick, it beeps once, you know, twice and three times. For the, number, for the rates. The yaw does not seem to increase. If it does, it's very, very minimal. I couldn't really tell an increase. Um, but it is sportier in the highest rate. The, the right stick is to do 360 flips in the way you want to flip by pressing down on it. To go into headless mode, you press down and hold for three seconds and that will make it go into headless mode. Now, now that I've covered the controls and everything, I need to kind of mention uh, some more information about the drone itself. The drone itself, I don't particularly like this drone. It is, it's just so many things wrong with this drone. Um, for one, whenever I'm flying it, it seems like it, the, the gyro tends to get mixed up and it tends to want to drift on me. Now to, uh, when you start it up, it will, uh, you know, on a level surface, it will blink and let you know it's calibrating the gyros. If you want to reset them, you land and I found it, you do, I think it's both sticks down and in and that will reset it because it does instruction manual which is actually a pretty good instruction manual it's, English is pretty good it's a large instruction manual I don't have it out here at the moment he doesn't mention that that's how you do the gyro calibration I just had to figure it out on my own but it tends to want to drift around um, with it only having one yaw ray it doesn't do funnels uh, particularly well it's not terrible and it also it doesn't do 360 flips on me very much. I only got to do it one time. Like I press in on a stick in the direction I want to go and I just can't get it to flip. I I got to do it one time. So I'm going to film the flight review here after this and here in the garage because it's pouring outside today. And we'll see if I can get it to flip. I, I, can, I can only get it to do one flip. It was a good flip but again I couldn't get it to do a flip. And then after I did, did the one flip then the gyro seemed to be all mixed up. I had to you know trim it a whole bunch. And then the LVC seems to start going off super early, like it was blinking on me for like most of the flight. The first time I thought, well, maybe I just get the battery charged up because I just threw it in and test flew it. Uh, with a fully charged battery, you know, I got five minutes, but I had no idea when the battery was low because the lights just kept flashing and kept flashing. And it finally, I just, you know, is losing power and then it came down to the ground and that's whenever I turned off my... Uh, you know my timer on, on the flight so you, know, you got gyro issues it, it seems um, the LVC seems to be tripping early which could just be mine it's possible that's not a, a, an issue with all of it could be I just have a defective voltage sensor in here and uh, it doesn't do 360 flips well, right I don't, I don't know why like I said I just I press down and then the direction I want to go and it doesn't want to do it now we'll see what it does in this test flight but overall I gotta say that I'm not uh, impressed at all with this with this quadcopter uh, you would expect you know a little drone like this should be a really good little drone and it is it is not we'll see how the test flight goes and then I'll kind of 
go over at the end of the test flight if I have any additional thoughts or if it does anything better than my previous test flights. So let's go ahead and we'll move along to the flight review. All right guys, so I have the ATOP A11 out here ready to fly it now. I just, um, I'm gonna take it up for test flight. It's, it's raining pretty good today, so I can't fly it outside. So this should be sufficient to do it here in the garage considering how small this is. Now whenever I, whenever I, after I bound it doing up and down with the controller here, then, you know, it did do its gyro calibration. But I'll stand back here. If you just go down on both in, in I believe, it should do it. Maybe it was both out. There it is. It's down on both sticks out. So I, I apologize. I said down and in and the, and hopefully that's showing up. I'll do it again. I don't know if the lights are showing up. So it's both sticks down and out, not down and in, like I said in the uh, overview I just did. So that calibrates the gyro. So let's go ahead and take it up. Very, very little roll and pitch. That's the lowest rate. See, it's kind of drifting to the right on me there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to trim it a little bit. It's also kind of a noisy little quadcopter. I'm gonna go ahead and take it the second rate because there was so little roll and pitch there, it almost could not fly it. So there's, and there's a yaw. It's okay. And there's three beeps. See, y'all looks the same. Now it's a lot more sporty. Look, a lot more pitch and roll. Let's kind of do a funnel. See, it's okay. It's kind of losing altitude though. There, I got the throttle all the way up. Now it's better. That was a little bit my fault. Let's try it. It's not too bad. I've seen tighter funnels, but it's not, not terrible. Now let's see if I can get it to do a 360 flip. No, see I'm pressing in once on the right stick. Let me try it again. Nope. Now let's see, are the lights flashing? Yep, look. And I am not in headless mode. See, I'm, I've got forward, back, right, left, so I'm not in headless mode. So I'm already getting an LVC here. Let's bring it down. I'm already getting, look, I'm already getting blinking lights. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I said, I mean, it's got to be a, a, the voltage sensor's not good. Now, it's not drifting too much on me here, but like I said, when I did a flip, boy, it really drifted bad. Like, that really confused the gyro. Let's do a little bit of, a little bit of trimming. Plus, I've trimmed it in my previous flights, but when it, if a gyro is going to get mixed up, then you're going to constantly be trimming it or resetting the gyro. So, I'll land it here and Reset the gyros, both sticks down and out. Take it back up. So it's actually not drifting on me like it was in the last one, but I'm not convinced it's not gonna do that. Especially if you can get it to flip. See, I, I cannot get it to flip. I don't know how I did it the one time. You shouldn't. You know? And if I hold it in for three seconds, it's gonna go into headless mode. Now it, fly, it flies, you know, the flight time is five minutes, so that's not too bad for a little micro drone. And it doesn't fly bad. See, I can't really complain about the flying of it as long as it's not drifting on me. But look, you can't, you can't see those lights. Look at that. You have to get it up almost overhead, and then I can see the light. Look, they're blinking, which I don't know why. You know, it's like it's telling me there's a low battery when it's not. Because whenever I first turned it on, it wasn't, they weren't blinking. It's kind of too bad because the drone itself, when it's flying right, it actually flies pretty good. The yaw is, I'd like to see a little faster yaw on the highest rate, but it's by no means terrible. <clears throat> so the, the gyro seems to be cooperating a little better here in this test flight now that I got it trimmed up but I think if you can get it to do a flip it's just like I said it doesn't want to do then it really, it really messed it up when I did that yeah I don't know I don't know how I got to do one So this would, this would be a decent little uh, whoop, or you, know, you could make it into a tiny whoop if it, if, if it functioned correctly. So it doesn't fly too bad, but 
Uh, man, I don't know why it doesn't do the flips. And it kind of, see, it kind of lost, like I had the throttle up, it almost like it got to a, a vortex ring state or something. It kind of, see, now it's kind of losing power. And now it looks like it's going to go dead. And I, I got around five minutes. I don't know how long that was. It did not seem like five minutes. But then again, whenever I'm talking like this, time kind of flies. <laughs> So I don't know if that was five minutes or not. I have got five minutes in the past. It's obviously, if the battery are bad, I would expect that the LiPo would not fly even that long. So I don't think it's a defective LiPo. Um, I just don't think this is a good drone. This is just not a good drone. You know, between the LVC going off almost immediately, and the fact that I've only got it to do one flip and one test flight, and I'm pushing down, like the instruction says, in the direction I want to go, and it just doesn't work. And the fact that at times the gyro tends to get uh, mixed up, though I didn't really experience much of that at all in this flight, but I have in the past. Though if you can get it to do a flip, that's when it, it just, I mean, when it was going forward, I mean, really bad. So overall, this is not a good drone. Um, you know, it, it is, I think, under $20, so it's not like it's gonna break the bank, but there are many other options in this price range that are much better. So in the end, I can't recommend this drone to anybody. It just, there's too many things wrong with it. Um, but uh, that should wrap it up then and give you guys an idea about this A-Top. This is the first thing I've ever owned from A-Top and I gotta say I'm not impressed, but I can't label you know, the entire company because almost everybody has a lemon in their drone lineup of these toys. But overall, like I said, I'm not impressed. So. Hope that helped you guys out and uh, what to expect from this little drone if you are interested in it. Hope you guys have a good day. I got um, several more reviews coming up here soon, like the, the Bugs 3 Mini is one of them I'm gonna be reviewing here soon. So have a good day and see you guys soon. The power of the dark side, side, side.